Hello, uh, I'm here at the Londonderry Warm Home Days with Kathy Wagner from Londonderry Town Council. Kathy, do you want to give me a little bit more information about the program for your viewers today? Oh yes, um, tonight is our annual bonfire for warm homes. How warm homes works is we're a one-time um, fuel uh, delivery to Londonderry residents for uh, 100 gallons. And um, what it is is to help somebody out that's just at a point where they lost a job or they have a catastrophic illness or something like that, just a way to help them out. And get them. Well, that's great, particularly needy these, yes, these days. And, and especially, I mean, the need has been unbelievable this year because of just what, what's happening with the economy, which is really unfortunate. But what came up with the idea was like uh, four years ago, we were all sitting around at a warm, um, uh, actually an old home day meeting and saying we were terrified for our elderly because the prices were escalating so quickly and most of them are on fixed incomes. So the, the program over the four years has expanded and now it's almost becoming like this great little community tradition and it's one of these things that I love about London area. And that's, that, gr that's great and I understand that like, numbers wise we've helped upwards of 50 to 60 people a year with these Well deliveries. the first year we did about 45, the second year we did 54, last year we did 85 and this year we're on a run rate for about 100. That's great. Now for people who can attend tonight that are watching this, is there anywhere they can send donations? Yes, they can send their donations into P.O. Box 329 here in Londonderry. We ask that you put on the check warm homes slash, or uh, Londonderry Comforts slash warm homes because we're part of the Londonderry Comforts organization, which helps um, children with catastrophic illnesses here throughout the town. But we're under their umbrella as their 501C, so that's how we, uh, so, so it is attached to that to the right. Okay, great. Okay, Kathy, do you want to introduce me to some of the volunteers we have here? These are the greatest volunteers <laughs> in the world. They are from the Londonderry Senior Citizen Center. They have done this for four years. They are a bunch of crazy old ladies because they stand out in this cold. It always seems to be the coldest night of the year right. when we hold this. We so I have here Gladys Frederick. We come back every year for more punishment. And because she owns Pixie Preschool. <laughs> and how many of us went to Prince and Pixie? A bunch of us kids did. Really, the whole town. So, yeah. Back here at Warm Home Days with Larry, Casey, and Greg Dakoto from Nutfield Sessions who are going to be performing here live this evening Hopefully. at the bonfire. As long as we live, yes. All right, so you you guys, this is your first year? You've been Actually, doing this before? Second year. Yeah. Great, great. And uh, tell me a little bit about what sort of music you guys perform. Well, the, uh, the Nutfield Sessions is a um, kind of a monthly open mic that Greg and I started four years ago. And uh, it's uh, an opportunity to bring acoustic musicians together uh, for an afternoon and, uh, you know, original music and cover tunes and that sort of thing. We have one coming up this coming Sunday at the uh, Mayflower Grange Senior Center. So, uh, from one to five. From one to five, right. So one of the things that comes out of that is uh, just an opportunity to plug into the community and come out and help, help out with things like this. So That's we're going to play some really cool stuff tonight, or <laughs> no matter stuff. what. <laughs> I don't know. Now, people want to get a, an idea of like what sort of schedule you play. Is there anywhere we, any of the local papers, I guess, you can look at the Yeah, well, we, have, we have a website. It's um, www.nutfieldsessions.org. Uh, Londonderry, There's also links if you go to LondonderryCulture.org, yeah, which is right. Londonderry's actual, the, the, the culture, because we are sponsored by the Arts Council uh, of Londonderry. So if you go to the LondonderryCulture.org, uh, there are links to go to the web, to our oh, website. Okay, there, so. great. Yeah. And it's a little cool tonight, but we're all here for a great cause, so yeah. we're pretty excited about yeah, it. Yeah, we're excited, right. excited as well. So Thank we're, you very much. Glad Thank to be you. part of it. Back here at Londonderry Warm Home Days, and as you can see behind me, Mike has just let the big bonfire lit it behind us getting started warm up this cold evening for everybody crowds are starting to come for those of you at home please I hope you got the address earlier where you can send money if you haven't been able to make this evening to this great cause back with Mike Brown from our town council. Brown, Mike, do you want to give us a little more uh, input into what Londonary sure. Warm Home Days and the good causes it serves? Sure. Uh, it's just, it's actually one more good example of all of the types of uh, activities that we see in Londonary 
just about all year long. There, there's a huge spirit of volunteerism in this town, and this is really kind of the epitome of that. In that, uh, Warm Homes was established for the sole purpose of helping Londonderry residents, uh, you know, make it through some difficult times, which we have right now. And the fact that it's on a real cold night is really appropriate. <laughs> and they're just lighting the bonfire, so we're really excited. But it's, it's a wonderful event, and it's, it's more important that everyone realize that it's coming from Londonderry people for Londonderry people. So there's, there's a lot of caring in this, com in this community. As challenging as the times are going to be, we'll get through it together, and this is just one example of that. That's great. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. You have Okay, Meredith, Brooke, and Mackenzie. We're here at Londonary Warm Home Days, and I understand you guys have been here before. Tell me about it. Um, it's a lot of fun in the cold days. <laughs> Yes, it's for a good cause as well, huh? Yep. How are you enjoying yourself, M Mackenzie? It's fun. It's cool to see, and it's, like, really fun. Yeah. Cool. And thank you very much. It's all for a good cause, for warm homes, for London Dairy, and to help people who can't afford to get some fuel this winter. Okay, we're back here with Dave Caron, town manager at London Dairy Warm Home Days. Dave, welcome. Tell us thank a little you. bit about the event. Thank you. Well, it's put on by the Warm Home folks and provide a great uh, opportunity for the community to get together. And also, Warm Homes does a great job partnering with the town to provide a social service net for those residents who are less fortunate than the rest of the community. Okay, great. And it's uh, definitely a good, good, uh, good year for it. Unfortunately, we've got a lot of people in need of hope. Yeah, we do. And on, on you know, on one one side of that is that uh, fuel prices have come down. The other side of that, we've got a lousy economy, which. I'm sure we're going to find people more in people in need this year. You're right. And Kathy was saying it's a, it's a good year. We're maybe going to be able to help as much as 100 people. So that's yeah, super. That, that, you know, that's fantastic. And uh, I know that we're closely with the uh, our human services provider at Town Hall. And we try to leverage as much as we can, extending our dollars and looking to help from other agencies, including Warm Homes. Okay. Well, great. Thank you very much, great. Dave. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. When the wind is cutting through. And you feel the chill of sea rain. Frost is dancing at your door. And you know the ice is creeping. And all around is the sound of quiet dreams. I'll be there to ease your fear and melt that icy breeze. Like a fire burning bright Yes, I will keep you warm Through the dark and coldest night And though you feel as though There is no hope inside You're feeling fade away And you're gonna lose the fight I'll be there to comfort you and make it all right. Yes, I will keep you warm. Love is like a beacon. Okay, we're here with Representative Al Baltasaro. Welcome, Hi, Al. How are you doing? Welcome to the Warm Home Days. I understand that you have quite a, a presentation to make here or uh, what story it is. with it. Yes, I do. I have a check here that I'd like to donate to Warm Homes. What it is, a few months back, I got with Cal and we talked about, and uh, Kathy, about uh, donate and cars to Murray's Auto Recycling. And then the proceeds, $250 per car, would go towards Warm Homes. What I did today, my son's car was broke down the transmission. I junked the car and I got a check. The metal's down now, so I got a check for $125. So what I would like to do is donate this check, and I signed it my name, and I wrote on there, donated to Warm Homes. And I would like to challenge every resident in Londonderry, if you have a junkyard sitting in the yard, go there, 
junk the car, Ed will give you a check for the car. You sign over the check to Warm Homes. That way there we're taking care of our own in Londonderry. So this is a check I would like to donate to Carol on behalf of Warm Homes. I mean, I'm not a rich guy, but every little bit helps. Sha la 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 la